Welcome back to another vlog. Today we're doing something very exciting. We are heading up to Orlando for the weekend. Today's Friday and we're going till Monday. There's John. Hey everyone. He's a little under the weather. He's, he's getting over a cold. We're actually heading up to Orlando because we're staying at my friend's Airbnb. My friend Dean, which most of you guys probably already know from previous vlogs. He now owns an Airbnb in Orlando. So he is letting us stay there for the weekend. Tomorrow we are just hanging out in Orlando with friends, family, doing brunch. And then the following day, Sunday, we are going to Universal Studios Orlando, which we haven't been to since last April, which is when we purchased the passes for his birthday. And we've only been once. We bought annual passes and we've only been once. I know it's so sad. Anyways, we the car is loaded. He just got home from school He's having a little snacky because he's a little hungry and then we're gonna get on the road It's about to be three o'clock. So hopefully we're in Orlando around six ish 6.30. This little girl is so excited. Look at that tail wagging. She's been seeing me load the car, put away all her things, her food, her bedding. She's like, oh my God, I'm going on vacation. First stop, as usual, before our road trips to Orlando is Starbucks. And did you know that I get Delta Sky Miles every time I go to Starbucks? So Delta and Starbucks, they are like partners now. So anytime you use your like Starbucks card, you get Delta Sky Miles. So yeah, if you guys didn't know that and you guys have a Delta Sky Miles membership, go ahead and link your Sky Miles and your Starbucks and you get miles every time you get Starbucks coffee. Me, I'd be nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you so much. That Starbucks barista was so sweet. She even offered a pup cup, which is like a little a little uh, whipped cream cup without me even having to ask for it, which I was gonna ask for it. I just almost forgot. And she offered. How sweet was she? Look who's gonna get this now. Come here, mommy. She loves her little puppuccinos, her pup cups. I don't know. I always call it puppuccinos, but I know some people call it pup cups. Let me know in the comments what you call it. All right, we got our coffees. We got our breakfast sandwiches, even though it's 3 p.m. And now we can be on our way. Continue straight for one hour and 20 minutes to exit 251 State Route 417 North. Another hour and 20 minutes. We left the house right before 3. Waze doesn't have us arriving until 7.20, which means we'll be in the car for four hours and 20 minutes. It has never taken me this long ever to get from South Florida where we live to Orlando. Yeah, so that's an update. After almost a five hour drive, we have made it here to our Airbnb. So this is actually, like I said earlier in the video, my best friend Dean's Airbnb that he bought this house. He made it so beautiful. I got to show it to you guys. It's incredible. Of course, I'm going to leave the link in the description box down below. If you guys want to stay here, rent out this Airbnb, you can. It's gorgeous. So this is the living room space. We have a nice couch here, lots of art. We have a huge television. We have this dining space, and I just gotta say, I love this kitchen. This is like my ideal kitchen. I wish that I had an, a kitchen that's like this at home. But yeah, this is it. Very spacious, a full kitchen with everything that you need. Air fryer, appliances, the whole shebang. Let's go see what else we have over here. So this is a three bedroom house and there's two bathrooms. So since this Airbnb is near Disney, it is, you know, Disney themed. So this one is the princess themed room. So of course he has the towels all set up. We have lots of like princess themed art on the walls. There's also a TV right here, Mickey and Minnie. And then the room over here is a Marvel theme room. Let me turn the lights off for you guys. So this is a Marvel theme room. It has a bunk bed, lots of Marvel art. And look at this wall. This is the Avengers. I, I mean, this is the Marvel expert right here. This is really actually, this is really cool. It is very nice. So yeah, you know, I didn't even notice this. He has all yeah, these yeah. board games. That's really nice. Dean went all out on his, his Airbnb. There's lots of storage up in the stairs. Oh it's yeah. All storage. So the stairs up to the top bunk, they're like little storage, little drawers. That is really cool. I've never seen that before. You want to get in one of those drawers, Mia? Yeah, and then let's go show the bedroom where we'll be staying in for the night. We're gonna be staying in the master room. This is the, the biggest bedroom here in the house. We have a TV here, a dresser. I really, really, really love the furniture. It's totally right up my alley. Definitely my style. We have a king size bed. And then there's a bathroom right in here. Huge bathroom, walk-in shower, and then also a walk-in closet very big closet lots of space here 
So totally impressed with my besties Airbnb. Again, I'll leave his link in the description box down below if you guys wanna stay at this Airbnb. Check it out, I really love it. It's a few miles away from Disney World, so close. And then it's not that far from Universal, which we're actually going to Universal on Sunday, a couple days from now. Yeah, everything's really close to this area. Lots of things to do, lots of restaurants. I love it here and I'm excited that we're gonna be here for three nights. Oh, you didn't show in the back, the pool. Oh, and also we have a backyard. There's also a backyard with a pool. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. I probably should have mentioned this. This is the backyard space. It has a pool, it has patio furniture, lots of patio furniture actually. We have this little space right over here. We have a little table over there with some more chairs. And then we have some lounge chairs, which are right there. Nice pool, and it's an enclosed backyard. Really, really nice. Oh, and there's an entrance to the master bedroom right through those doors. Oh, and an outdoor shower. <laughs> Mia, get inside. Get inside, little girl. Yeah. So yeah, we definitely love it. So we brought everything into the house. We brought all of, all of our luggage. We have Mia's little doggy basket. We're gonna get to bed. Our drive here was almost five hours. There was so much traffic on the road. Ready for bed. Tomorrow is a new day. We're gonna go to brunch tomorrow with Coco and my brother. The next day. It's a new day. We are on our way to brunch. John is actually getting some gas right now for us. My gas tank is almost on empty. No, rightfully so, because we were on the road for like five hours yesterday, or almost five hours. Um, anyways, we are on our way to brunch. We are arriving fashionably late. We are 10 minutes late. Our, our reservations for 11. There they are. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hi, brother. Hey, brother. Hey guys. First thing that I ordered for brunch is this delicious morning bread. And I got an Aperol spritz. Mmm. How was it? Good, right? Brunch was amazing. It's now almost 10 p.m. I didn't really show much of brunch. I, I totally, I'm such a bad vlogger. Sorry, I was like, I was talking to John. John's about to go walk Mia because my brother Dario is on his way over. Him and his friend are gonna stay here for the night and then they're actually gonna come to Universal with us tomorrow, which is so last minute. We're actually kind of excited because I haven't been to a theme park with Dario in a couple of years. So I'm really excited about that. Dario is gonna be staying in the princess room right over here. The princess room for the princess. But yeah, we did brunch. We met some new friends. Friends, uh, they were actually Coco's friends that we met today. We really love them. And then we just came back to the house today with a really chill day. Welcome to our humble abode. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Hi Dario. Hello. Hello. Good. Good to Good. see you all again. I feel like you guys all miss me. They and do I miss, miss you. Because I was watching videos with him, and I'm like, I'm not in any of these videos. You have to cut it out. She wants you to put your stuff down. That's what it is. So this is Dario's friend. Dario, why don't you tell everybody who your friend is? Uh, Bruce Bell. Do you want to say hi to the viewers at home? <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to come with us to Universal Studios tomorrow. And I brought Girl Scout cookies. That you I did. Half of. Yay. Yes, I ate half of them. Are they, are they the mid chips? Good girl, Mia. Mia's always weird when meeting people, but like after she meets you for the first time, she like falls in love. I know. She was acting mad. Outside. Yeah. Like, Yo, square up. Who are you? Let me show you your yeah. um, accommodations for the evening. You're gonna be <gasps> staying over here in the. Uh, oh yeah, first of all. And for Dean, by the way, Dean, beautiful accommodations right? you have here. Yeah. Five stars. So your room is gonna be right through there. Right here. Yeah. The princess room. The princess oh, room. Princess room. I feel, like princess. I feel like I'm in the circle. Isn't this legit? <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice. Right? Today is the day to be beautiful. You. What does it say? Today is the day to be beautiful. Oh, I love that. I didn't even notice that. Oh, I want to let you know that my little contribution to this room was that I made Dean buy those, the frames. <laughs> so it wasn't your contribution. It was you making Dean buy it. Yeah, pretty much. I was like, buy this on Amazon. Hurry, give me your credit card. <laughs> so funny. Oh. oh, you know what's really cool, actually? Tap the base of that lamp. Oh, okay. Right? What? What? That's magical. Yeah. I want to see that Marvel room. The, the Marvel room. <laughs> the Marvel room is so cute. Well, maybe we'll sleep in that one. Yo, this is so cool. Where did Dean even get this? That's wallpaper. The neighbor was like, oh, I thought that was painted by hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, well, Dean did. Actually, it was painted by hand. Yeah. Okay, everybody, just so you know, this is real artisanal wall. Artisanal paint. wall. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because all the like vacation homes in the Kissimmee area, they like have Harry Potter themed mm -hmm. room, Marvel themed rooms, and it's also really cool. It's true, yeah. The next day. Who's ready for Universal Studios Orlando? Me! That, no, not him, not him. Me. 
It is exactly 9 a.m. We're heading out. It's supposed to rain. Hopefully it doesn't. And you little girl, you are gonna be here for a few hours without us. I know. We made it. Universal Orlando. How exciting is that? Okay, I'm so. I actually am excited. Last time we came for like five hours, but we didn't even get to really enjoy much. Yeah, I think I think we're excited also because we don't do this that often, you know? So that's Dario right there in that vehicle right there. He bought an annual pass last night. It's always nice to go to the park with like other people and enjoy like the excitement of the theme parks with other people. Yeah, but sometimes we enjoy it by ourselves. Yeah, it's because it's like less stress, you know what I mean? You don't have to negotiate stuff. It's just between right. the two of you and then that's it. It's our first time using our free parking benefit. So with our annual pass, uh, parking is included. This is where the Universal Studios experience always starts. In the parking garage, walking your way all the way to the front of the party. Which is really cold and I thought that it wasn't going to be cold. Now I might have to buy a sweater. Maybe I'll buy like a Harry Potter sweater. Hey. We're at the main gates. Dario right there is actually claiming his annual pass. We're waiting for him. <laughs> How does it feel to be a Universal Orlando? Really good. It's the first time because usually holder. I get it for free, but now I am a Universal Orlando pass holder. Okay. Yay, we're in! We finally made it. And it's only 10.46. Oh my god. We wasted so much time just parking and, and Dario had a little issue we'll talk about later. First stop of the day, then we have a coaster. It's the newest right here at Universal and we have never done it. We just gotta dodge everyone, ready? Like this. We gotta do the, the theme park walk. We just walk around everybody. We're in a limited time crunch here. We have a dog at home. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright, so I almost pretty certain that I'm not gonna be able to bring my camera with me on the ride. So I'm probably gonna have to put it in a locker somewhere. Gotta figure out where that is. I don't know how you're walking so fast. You gotta walk fast. Come on, you have your comfortable shoes. I bought him those yeah, for Yeah, they're not handling this as well as I thought they would. I bought him those for Christmas. Like little toe shoes. <laughs> they're, like, they're my um, uh, Fred Flintstone shoes. Fred Flintstone shoes. <laughs> All right, there it is. Are you nervous? No. No? Good. I don't know. Me either. Weirdly, no. But I'm sure once I get on it, I will. I know. It's like once you're buckled in and strapped in. It's like my heart starts beating. Yeah, me too. I'm the same way. Okay, so it's not just me. 45 minutes. Let's oh. do it. Never in my life have I experienced such a ride before. My, my legs are cramped. I'm being scared. It's like stiff. That's horrible. I had an outer body experience. I feel like I, I'm deceased right now. I tell you something. This guy just came out. Mexican guy came up. He's like, "Está muy cabrona." It, it wasn't horrible, it was like, it was hardcore intense. And we never say this. Oh my god. Like, I'm out of- Thank god I didn't go on that. Like, my body's still shaking, like- At that point, I would've just lifted up the thing and just jumped out. Like, isn't it? <laughs> but anyways, he looked- My brother asked me to have a double vodka soda waiting for him, and here I am, like a good sister. With a double You're so good to me. <laughs> Give everybody a brief synopsis of what, what has occurred this morning. Yeah, I did to the bartender just now, because I had like, I need a drink. So I had to go get my annual pass. I thought I was my confirmation, I could just get in with free parking They're like no it's 27 dollars. you haven't activated yet i was mad i had to go park at uber the uber drop off i had to walk all the way to city walk i mean no uh through city walk to islands adventure i had to get my annual pass walk all the way back to the car drive all the way back around park my car and you know bfe wherever here they are you know and i had to walk all the way back over here run here so i can get bruise belt on the ride because he wants to ride this ride too with my brother then i had to run back and get a drink <laughs> So thank you for that. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Hi guys, welcome to iCarly. This episode, we're here at Universal Orlando Resort. <laughs> Harry Potter World. Hey, we're in Harry Potter World. This is where we first came. This is our first I know. theme park together ever. Do you remember when me and John came here for the first time? You got a Was secret back in the day? Oh, wow. Six years ago. Yeah, you ancient got, time. Ancient you used to work here. I know. And you I got a ticket right there, right in the castle. And I used to wear my Slytherin robes all the time. You guys, we're getting a tour of Hogwarts because Dario knows somebody who works here. Hey Dario, tell everybody what we're doing right now. We're doing a castle tour at Hogwarts. It's very exclusive. You have to know who to ask and when to come, but you can actually have a tour of the, the castle itself, see all the movie props that are available here too. It's going to be really cool. Yeah. I'd ask some of you to carry my picture down to the stands. My house never stopped talking about Potter's Quidditch skills. I'd really rather see for myself. <laughs> Come now, move along. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Listen to sorry. me, dummies. All right, all right, let's go. So this is the exit of the ride where people get off and Dario actually got everybody on the ride. I didn't want to come on this one because this one kind of makes me a little nauseous sometimes. So I'm waiting for them at the exit. There you are. One of the best rides at Universal. Hands down. It is really good. It just makes me nauseous. It should make you nauseous. Yeah. So good. 
Uh, I'm so glad you went on. So, okay, I was screaming the whole ride because I'm a screamer. And John comes out like, did you hear that woman screaming the whole ride? <laughs> Why would you scream on this ride? Just because it's fun. It's not even yeah. thrilling. I know, but it's fun to scream. So I want to do a little Harry Potter shopping spree. I really love this shirt. You like the hoodie? This is cute. It is cute. John's gonna try on a Harry Potter Hogwarts cloak for you guys. Are you, is that your house? I think you're a Slytherin. This is a Hufflepuff. You're a Slytherin, which is right behind you. I am you. not a Slytherin. Yeah, you're kind of evil. That is Slytherin or not evil, they're cunning. Slytherin or not evil, they are cunning. Sure, Jan. Oh, it looks so good on you. You should get it. To get right. And like walk around the house with it. Like instead of using a bathrobe, you just use- Can I just be like this? No. You want to tell everybody how much it costs? Oh yeah, just a trifling $139. $139. Alright, what do you got there? I bought the shirt that I wanted. I treated myself. Treat yourself. Where to next? Wherever you guys want. Want to go in the kitty ride? Get a drink. Huh? Yeah, let's get a drink. John got his first butter beer here. I got a vodka soda. I taste it? Yeah, I'll have a sippy. Now you know you're here, right? So bad. So now which, which butter beer is better? This one here or the one in London? Here, for sure. It's JK Rowling strict about here. So we are in line for the Hagrid's motorbike. It says 85 minutes, hopefully it's less. I have a drink to keep me hydrated while we're in the queue. How do you feel with your butter beer and your, the Hagrid's ride? I'm and, like so happy right now. And we're in Harry Potter land. I'm, I'm on a Harry Potter high. I'm getting a little tipsy right now from this butter beer. So if you guys don't know, this is the first theme park. Well, I'm, I, I've said this already a bunch of times, but this is the, it's the first theme park that John and I have ever come to together. So. It holds a special place in my heart. We did it! He's in the sidecar. I'm in the uh, on the motorbike. See you next lesson. How fun! Did you love it? I forgot how fun this was. It's our second time doing it. This is really fun. Yeah. Poor Ruth has to do all the rides by himself. I know because Chicken Dario. I have to pee so bad. <laughs> Poor Ruth has to do all the rides by himself because you're a little chicken. You're a chicken. We're at the exit here, as you can see. Insider tip, you are not allowed to exit any of the theme parks <laughs> with a beverage in hand. Beverage! <laughs> <laughs> you must finish your beverage, your drink, your cocktail, prior to exiting the theme park. It's because of the different liquor licenses that each place holds. Yeah, so this is a note to all of you to message your representatives to make sure that we overturn these Florida liquor laws. Prohibition days are over. Write your congressman. We're home free. We finished our drinks. Okay, now we're heading over to Universal Orlando. Probably get some lunch. It's only like a three minute walk, really. We have our annual pass in hand. We're gonna scan it and walk right in. I'm really hungry though, so hopefully we can find some food quick. You guys, I just came into this Universal Studios store and I found this classic Universal Studios t-shirt, which it's from the 90s and it has all the old rides that they had here at Universal Studios back in the day. So I feel like I have to treat myself. So I'm gonna get this one and oh my God, I love it. It reminds me of my childhood coming here when I was little. Do you remember when this used to be Nickelodeon Studios right here? Uh, you know. You don't remember, do you? No, but do you remember when this used to be the I Love Lucy tribute store? Of course I remember that, but this used to be Nickelodeon Studios back in the 90s, and they actually used to film TV shows here. As we're walking here down the Beverly Hills section of Universal Studios, I've also noticed that Universal Mardi Gras actually started uh, yesterday, February 4th, and it lasts all the way until April 16th. Actually, she's gonna go have lunch at Diagon Alley, which is a Harry Potter Wizarding World section of Universal Studios, and I think I'm gonna treat myself to a butterbeer there as well as lunch. Okay, we are approaching Diagon Alley. So we have King Cross Station here, which this is where you arrive from if you're coming from Universal Islands of Adventure, and then you come out and then you go to towards the left, and then Diagon Alley is right here, right through these walls, disguised as Leicester Square Station. You go right through the walls and you end up in Diagon Alley. I'll do a spell so we can, it can open up for us. Just tap the, the, fr the bricks. Tap the bricks. Oh, there you go. We're here. Oh my god, that was such a good spell. You got us right into Diagon Alley. It was a crazy ton of people. We just arrived here at the Lakey Cauldron. We did online mobile ordering for our meals. We are all very, very hungry boys. Yes? Are you hungry? Tired, but yeah. We're quite hungry, but I ordered myself a butter beer because I think it's time. I hope it's as good as the one that John had earlier. Nothing's as good as that one. It is. 
Yeah. It's good. Maybe they fixed up formulation. Mm. <laughs> if you've never had butter beer, how would you describe it? It's like butter, like butterscotchy. Butter 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 That's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Cream soda, butterscotch. But the best part is this white foam that's right there on top, right? I just want a whole cup of this white foam. Our meal is here. We got some classic British fish and chips. Wow, they really skim on the chips, don't they? Yeah. Gee. Just one chip. Just one chip. Just one. Just one. It is dessert time here at Florian Fortescue. What kind of ice cream are you gonna get? Butterbeer ice cream for sure, without a doubt. Butterbeer ice cream, it's a soft serve. That's what I'm getting. We got the butterbeer ice cream. We only waited like 10 minutes in line, right? Not that bad. Shortest ride ever. I know, right? Uh, time to head out. We're leaving. We're gonna go back to the car and go back home. It's almost 4 p.m. Time to get back to our little girl. Mm. Best theme park ice cream ever. What do you think about your ice cream? It's good. It's good? Yeah. Oh, you don't look too impressed. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. We are done with the theme parks for the day. There's a classic Universal Studios sphere. We had to get a picture in front of it, as always. It's just what you do when you come to Universal Studios. You, you have to get a picture in front of the sphere. When we first started dating, we had our first picture taken there. When yeah. we first, our first time together coming here. We did. And I'll insert a picture right here. That was from six years ago. Can you believe it? And I think Dario was taking the picture, right? Yep. We are speed walking our way out of City Walk and back towards the car. Hopefully we can find it. We, we totally forgot to look where uh, we parked our car. I think we found our car. We remembered. Our memory serves us right. I just remember being on the roof. Here we are. Right in front of this red car right here. Mia is alive and well, everyone. She is happy to have us home. Oh my goodness, she was like giving us kisses. Yeah, I know, mommy. Oh, these are t-shirts that I bought. You want to see them? No? Okay. I'll... All right. Let's go have some dinner. Let's go have some dinner. Come on. So this is what we've been feeding her lately. It's the farmer's dog and she is absolutely obsessed. We're giving Mia a much needed walk right now. And right here, there's actually another Airbnb. So there's a ton of Airbnbs in this neighborhood where Dean lives or where Dean has his Airbnb rather, because <laughs> he doesn't live here. Look, I didn't notice it. Did you notice this? Oh, now I do now, yeah. It's a Mickey right here. Yeah, these people go all out on their Airbnbs. Guys, I did a wardrobe change and we have a special guest who I didn't really get to record yesterday. Coco! It's me, Valentina! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that from? RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh. Um, Coco's Corner has been on hiatus. She might be coming back soon. We have a travel agent among, among us. Hi! For all your traveling needs, call Jeremy. Wait, are you really a travel agent? Yeah. yeah. Since when? Officially. What? Yesterday? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like two days ago? I didn't know about that. Yeah. So wait, we gotta give an announcement because I haven't told anyone yet. What? About our little We're vacay. gonna have a redemption! About our vacay cruise. This lighting is actually really good for YouTube videos. Yeah. Can we move here? This will be good for my cooking videos. Move no, here. so actually, yeah. we're going on a redemption cruise on a virgin voyage. Well, it's, my well, it's his. Everyone else remembers the cruise but I, so. <laughs> we're going on a virgin voyages cruise at the end of this month, February. And Coco's joining us, and so is Jeremy, and so is John. It's Jeremy's redemption cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to that. It's gonna be a five night cruise, which I'm very excited about because I feel like it's not gonna be so rushed, you know. I actually get to try every restaurant, so I'm excited about that. Oh, I know. And then I'm going next, wait, in March, when we come back, I'm gonna get a hair transplant. That's right. In Turkey, honey. Istanbul. I'm excited to see the results. Excited too. I told them that I wanted to get a fa a beard keyboard. transplant, which I, I don't worry, I'm not doing it. Coco is definitely gonna have his procedure done. Yes. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. <laughs> you can brush my hair when I get new ones. <laughs> <laughs> Mia, what do you think about that? Hmm. What do you think, baby girl? She says yes to the dress. The next day. Lassa here at the house here in Orlando. We're just getting some last minute cleaning here of Dean's house because once we leave, I think some more, some new Airbnb people are coming in. So we're making sure everything is the way we left it. So we've cleaned literally everything. We washed the sheets and towels and, and mopped and swept the floors. And yeah, everything looks spick and span. I think it even looks better than when we got here, to be honest. Cause you know. I gotta take care of my friend's house. But after doing all of this work, it makes me think about the hard work that housekeeping does on yeah. a regular basis anywhere else. It's a lot of work. Think about them when you leave. So it is Monday. We are heading back home down to South Florida today. We're gonna leave it an hour where hopefully it's not that bad of a, that bad traffic the way that it was when we came up here. It must be nice little princess to just be like sitting around in her throne watching us clean. Mm-hmm. 
But again, highly recommend staying at this Airbnb. I will leave the link in the description box down below to Dean's Airbnb. So if you guys are ever coming to the Orlando area or going to Disney or Universal, super close and convenient to all the parks, I definitely would stay here again and I'm sure I will again <laughs> in the future. We are in the car, we got the car loaded. Mia. Mia's freaking out because John went into the bathroom in the gas station. <laughs> so it just got gas, topped off the tank. We had lunch in the car already. Sorry, we didn't show you guys what we got for lunch. Now we are officially gonna get on the road because we got our Starbucks. Mia got a puppuccino, pup cup. Start the trip the way we ended off the trip. Ready? She just wants to like be with us here in the front seat. Mm -hmm. I'm ready, you ready? Do you know where you're going? Nope. No. <laughs> Finally home after an uneventful three hour drive. And thankfully he drove this time so he gave me a little break. He's not sleeping, he's pretending. Wake up. I see a little smirk. Uh, <laughs> I am really tired. That was exhausting. Yeah. Driving, driving is exhausting. Even though you are just sitting there, it's mentally exhausting and I get it. Thank you, for, thank you for driving. I'm gonna end this vlog right here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed our weekend in Orlando vlog and going to Universal and seeing friends and family. I had a really good time. It went by so, so fast. Grateful that we got to stay where we did and we had good weather. Let us know in the comments below if you've been to Universal recently, if you've been on Velocicoaster. If you're new here, please make sure you're subscribed. Turn on the bell for post notifications. Follow me on Instagram. We do have a cruise coming up at the end of this month, so I'll be doing the cruise vlogs with my best friend Coco, as we told you guys last night. So that'll be exciting. That's only 20 days from today, and we'll be cruising again. Looking forward to that. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye.